when I, when I think of Julian, it does bring a smile to my face. He's kind, he's caring, he um, eats his lunch out of a cup, which I think we all love about him. Julian is, is, is such a presence here, I think, at school. And so whether you see him in the teacher's lounge, whether you see him in the library, whether you see him going around to, uh, to his classes and carrying that book bag, um, it's just always you know that you're running into someone who is uh, friendly and someone who cares about what he's doing and who always has a great smile for you and makes you feel better about yourself. Laughs a lot. He likes to kid and cut up. Number one, he's willing to do anything you ask. I've never asked him to do something that he hadn't done it. And he does it willingly. And he's the only guy that we got that runs every concession stand on campus because I say, will you do the junior concession stand? Yeah, yes, I'll do it. Will you do the sophomore concession? Yes, I'll do it. First, as I said, he's kind, and so they really appreciate that. And and he's uh, he he expects, but he's not demanding, which is a fine line in there to expect them to do their work without being a heavy hand. Just his delivery is kind of a warm Southern way of delivery, and it, it comes across real well in the classroom for the boys. Julian reminds me of someone who is funny, who's empathetic who is loyal and who is an excellent teacher. The students that have Julian come away with not just an idea about what the history is, but he integrates um, literature, music, art, famous sayings in your teaching of history, and it really makes it come alive for the kids. There's this mystique about him that, that I always heard that he played for Bear Bryant in the University of History and it just kind of comes right out of him as if, uh, you know, as if he has experienced it all. And this young man said something totally inappropriate and I mean I saw the other side of Julian Jones. He let that boy know that in no way was, could he be disrespectful. I mean his face got red and I looked at Annie B and I thought wow. The first time I, he kind of stood out in my mind is that we had the mother Son, it used to be a luncheon instead of a breakfast, and Julian was the keynote speaker that day. And I was amazed at it, watching him stand up in front of that whole crowd and talk as eloquently and with authority about American history and how it affected Tennessee and Nashville. One time, he, he was on speech. these concession stands, you're supposed to get boys to help you, and he couldn't get anybody <laughs> to help him. And we were having a soccer game one night, and. Uh, I look up and Julian's kind of sitting there by himself and his, his knees are together and he's got the candy and the soft drinks all in his lap and people are coming up and paying him. He didn't have the cash box or anything and he was taking the money and putting it in his lap and giving him a candy bar or giving him a Coke. I just got so tickled because I thought that's his willingness, you know, just to help. He went out there and did it and it was funny, but he's, he's got a great heart about it. I had a student in ninth grade who was uh, who had had Julian in junior school and who was so excited by what he had learned and so interested in um, in making sure that, 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 that Julian knew how much he appreciated what he had done for him. And I'll never forget when you, Julian when you came up and you said, uh, did you, Milter, do you know who won the Battle of Waterloo? And I said, no, Julian, and, and he said, Duke Ellington, and not the Duke of Wellington. The kid got close, but no cigar. Quest for better understanding um, um, uh, New Orleans culture, uh, especially through the lens of of, um, of uh, voodoo. And so he's, um, you know, he he has these interests that are just uh, uh, extraordinarily. Um, um, Oh, I don't just uh, eclectic. Uh, he he's such a kind person that uh, for a while he was when I first became department chair he uh, lived over real close to the donut den, and uh, so I would ask him when I thought of it before the you know, the day before the meeting I would ask if he could pick up some donuts for the meeting, and um, and he was always more than willing to do that, uh, but then. Um, he moved, and I didn't realize it, and so I would ask him if he could do that, and 
He said, sure, sure. And I, this happened several times until finally he said, now, I have moved, but um, I would still be That's more than happy to get Julian those donuts. He, he wouldn't, uh, he was more afraid that he would make me feel bad than Julian, anything else. I have known you for approximately 20 years. Throughout that period of time, you have always expressed your love of history. Seeing you in the classroom telling the story of some important historical event or knowing how passionately you care about that subject. Those qualities have endeared you to me and to many others at MBA. You have always made the boys your first priority at MBA. They respect you, they know you care about them, and they see into the genuineness of your affection and interest. You have a gentle soul that all of us admire. I will recall the many and important ways in which you represented the quality of being a gentleman at MBA. We will miss you very much. Julian, you know we call you Double J, and you know I'm going to miss you terribly, but the whole counseling office is going to miss you. But we fully expect to get updates regularly on what you're doing and on some sporting events that you're attending, and we will always think of you in Roll Tide. Good luck. We're going to miss you. Julian, we're going to miss you so much around here, and we want you to have a wonderful retirement and to keep us in mind and keep us in your thoughts and let us know what's going on with you and enjoy yourself very, very much. Julian, I'm, uh, I'm so happy for you, and uh, as, we've, as we've talked about, in some ways envious, uh, and I know that you'll make the most of, the, of your... Um, of the, this new phase in your life, it really in your um, quest for knowledge, and I uh, hope you continue to uh, to pursue uh, all these things that so interest you, uh, and that you'll come back to see us. Julian, I'm going to miss you so much. I can't tell you how much I'm going to miss you, but I want you to know that I have already bought a new bottle of sunscreen, so that I will be ready to visit you in Florida this summer. Bon voyage. They're ignoring him. Why? What's up? What's up? He can do almost anything he wants to, don't you think? Because guys.